Contestant number two, Kat Nguyen, World's Most Unusual. World's Most Unusual, Kat Nguyen. How would you change the world? That was a table topic, an impromptu speech challenge I got a few years ago. I was excited because I'd had an idea for a long time. I said, I'll change the world by being the world's most unusual Hollywood casting agent. I had the audience shout out unusual characteristics for the lead in a new superhero movie. Body type, pot belly, gender, ambiguous. It's a secret identity. Superpower, being a lawyer. Country of origin, Guatemala. I think we'd absolutely see this movie. In fact, the popularity of the muscular Luisa from the movie Encanto tells me we've been missing out on fun characters. Now, I wish I could say that I came to this idea directly, but that wasn't the case. Back in 2015, my colleague Priya, a woman designer from India, and I, a Vietnamese American designer, are coming up with an early adopter persona for a new scheduling app. Picture someone who loves using the latest tech. We come up with Dave. We're sketching scenarios for Dave and it's going slowly. Priya asked me, hey Kat, what kind of errands would Dave run on the weekend? Well, I get my kids to swimming, figure out dinner so I can buy groceries. Yeah, but Dave's single and we decided he's going out for dinner. It dawns on me, how did we arrive at this persona? Our early adopter colleagues are named VJ and Yun Ling. We're designers and parents. I was no longer in my 20s. Yet still, we gravitated to the usual casting agent decisions. Hey, Priya, can we make Dave a woman? Yeah, let's do it. That's how Dave became Maria, a Miami businesswoman with two teenagers. Her scenarios were much more useful for a scheduling app. I also wish I could say that I had it all figured out after that day. But a year later, I saw an article. Diversify your Twitter feeds. Psh, how bad could mine be? It's more of the usual, isn't it? As for social circles, I purposely send my kids to public schools, but in school meetings, English speaking families gravitate to the front, Spanish speaking families to the back. And while these aren't new habits, our unconscious gravitation toward the usual leaves us less connected and less informed. And right now, there are hundreds of conscious efforts that will keep things that way. States are passing laws that ban the teaching of anything causing discomfort, guilt, or anguish. They say these are things we've gotten past. They're too uncomfortable to talk about. But when distrust and discrimination are parts of our usual, the uncomfortable is what most people navigate, not just read about every day. When we recognize how far the world is from where it should be, it's daunting. But I think of that table topic idea because while we're not Hollywood casting agents, we are the casting agents of our lives. And we can change the world with two everyday superpowers that connect us. Superpower number one, be the unusual casting agent for the stories in your life. Once I knew to look, it was easy to find different people to follow on Twitter. Since then, I've had serious learnings, like disability Twitter, will shock you with how many Hollywood movies depict disability as undesirable. And I've had fun learnings, like getting this amazing noodle recipe. So diversify your Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, follow someone unexpected. Follow me, I'll hook you up with that noodle recipe. Next, I want you to picture your favorite authors or books or movies or shows. Does that picture have a mix of genders, ethnicities, Sexualities, religions, ages? If the answer is yes, can you send me your list? If the answer is no or not quite, this means you have worlds of media to explore. 
pick an author, stream a movie or genre you wouldn't usually watch, and you'll probably find something new to add to your usual. And for the kids, counter these bands by requesting the books and curriculum that connect kids to all aspects of humanity. Superpower number two, be the unusual casting agent for the story of your life. Without conscious change to our social circles, moments of crisis like this will continue to draw out not just our bravery, but also our unconscious gravitations to who we trust, to who we picture is part of the usual. So be that unusual casting agent and gravitate to people less like ourselves. Maybe it's the quiet person at work or the loud person. Find ways to encounter more people. I started doing community events at my kids' school, reading in the classroom, cleaning the garden. Our community is a little broader. It's where my terrible Spanish makes everybody laugh, but it's also appreciated. You will make a huge difference just by saying hello when you recognize someone. And I bet you can use table topic powers to connect with small talk. So with these two everyday superpowers, be that unusual casting agent in your life. I'll close with an anecdote. I had diversified my kids' media, but I wondered, was it making a difference? Back when my daughter was four, she wanted to be a scientist. And one night, my husband texts me, do you know what your daughter just did? Do I want to know? We're watching an old 90s cartoon. There's a group of scientists, and she says, all on her own. Daddy, why are all the scientists men? The kids notice. And as the casting agents of our lives, we have the ability. We have the superpowers. And now the world needs us to show that the world's most unusual is the world's most usual. Toastmaster. Thank you, Kat.